<laughs> it's the morning brew with friends, and we are having a blast here this morning. We got a packed house. We got our friend Chris Dunkison from Comcast is here. Carol Olaski and Jan Luhan from Reading Works are here. We have folks from Bernalillo County that are here, and the folks from TEDx and our buddy Carlos Contreras from Tractor Brewery is going to talk art this morning. Full house in the morning brew with friends. It's a packed house. Carlos, you've been here. You're becoming a regular on the show. It's yeah, amazing. Yeah, don't mind it. It's kind of nice. Have you ever seen the green room so full of people? This is great. No, it's cool. Yeah, there's a lot of people back there. I love it when we have a packed house. It means we're going to just have a fun, awesome, great show. We're going to kick it off this morning with headlines that are brought to us by our buddies at Tony and Guy Hairdressing Academy. And I'm a political junkie. I'm also a space nerd. And I love this stuff. <laughs> uh, I'm really excited. I was really excited anyway, because the guys from SpaceX, uh, Elon Musk's company, Company, his other company after Tesla Motors was going to launch this giant rocket from southern New Mexico and I was really looking forward to hearing it seeing it maybe even going down for the launch it's called the Falcon 9 the poor thing crashed into the ocean the other oh, day oh man they were going to land it on a and it was like the coolest idea in the world can you imagine landing a rocket on a drone boat Whoa. in the middle of the ocean that sounds like something way over my head. Mine too. What? Where, was it in transport here? And it, uh, no, they were actually they were testing this oh, thing, wow. and it, okay. it actually lands and takes off vertically. Okay. So it can actually land. Oh, weird. It's cool. It's that total like cool. science fiction stuff. Yeah, that is. Cool. And um, it just missed, literally missed the boat. <laughs> uh, but um, bum. <laughs> yes. And this is Splash. cool. Downtown maybe getting some new people in it. This is great. You're a downtown guy. I'm I a am. downtown guy. I love, I love this stuff. Alvarado Square is a building that was purpose built for P&M in 1981. Mm -hmm. And it's the cool big P&M building. Yeah, that's it's, a cool building. Right. And Pyramid. when P&M sold the gas company in 2007, basically they consolidated it, moved into half of it, and they've been trying to sell it ever since. And uh, it's owned by really a group of investors in P&M and this complicated thing. Mm. Regardless, it looks like Barnley County may be buying it. But last night, the county commission agreed and authorized the county commission, county manager to go ahead and make an offer on the building. And that could be pretty cool. That would move the county out of City Hall into Alvarado Square. Oh, and, interesting. Right. Yeah. And they, need the, they need the office space. And it would also keep almost 1,000 workers downtown. That's which, cool. Right. Lends to everything downtown. Right. And we'll free up some space in City Hall, free up, you know, it would be really great. I guess the only hold up now is parking, but it's not <laughs> Always that, parking. It's, it's not that bad downtown. <laughs> People complain, but it's not that bad. And this is, I think everybody who's ever watched TV in New Mexico in the last 10 years is going to be really sad to know Linda Beaver is no longer going to be on TV. Ah, uh, boo. I know. I, I, I loved her big hair, and there she is. <laughs> and she sold it. She has sold the dealership, and a longtime guy who worked at the dealership has bought it. And it's awesome for him. Is he keeping the name, is the question? Yes, he's keeping the name. Smart man. But no more Linda Beaver. No, they're changing they're, the name. Oh, wait, they are changing the name. Uh, and it is, it's going to be something entirely new. Not a smart man. Right. Well, <laughs> you know. It's up to him. The If I had my own dealership, I'd do something. But yeah, we're gonna miss seeing Linda Beaver on TV. Danther Toyota. Oh, right. And then we got the special <laughs> session talks that are continuing here with the, uh, the the state. And this is Governor Susanna Martinez is finally getting legislators together. They missed out and kind of failed completely to pass a $264 million capital outlay package. This is the money that builds schools, playground equipment, roads, everything else, pretty much in the districts for all the legislators. And they just failed to pass a uh, capital outlay bill this year. So the, the governor is finally getting everybody together, and this week it looks like talks are finally happening. She told her people to get with their people. Seems like it's a couple weeks too late. It, it, it is a couple weeks I too mean, late, but when you're doing legislative <laughs> sessions and you have 1,500 no, bills to consider, yeah. sometimes they just need a little bit of time to figure out how to get some of them done. Fair enough. And then this is awesome. We were talking about this before. There's a baby hippo at the zoo. Brand new baby hippo. Yay. And what I really love about this, and Carlos, what's the mom's name for the hippo? Karen. Right? How great is it when hippos have people names? And, <laughs> and I want to go see this. I can't wait to go see this. I live kind of by the zoo. Uh, I can walk on over there. It's great. And I want to go see the new baby hippo. It is unnamed yet. They don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but the mom is protecting the new baby hippo. Karen is, is on, on watch, huh? Karen is completely on watch. <laughs> And I just love when they give awesome animals people names. Yeah, that's cool. Steve, Greg. Those ben. are things I try to name my dog. 
but it just didn't stick. <laughs> didn't work. Didn't work. She didn't like it. <laughs> she didn't like it. She didn't like being named Steve, but <laughs> it's my dog. What do you know? The, uh, and then finally, this is sad. Percy Sledge this week passed, and he was one of my favorites. He was just, you know, when a man loves a woman was his big hit. And mm. basically a one-hit wonder, but he was had one of the greatest voices in all of pop music of the 1950s and 60s, really. That's a great song. It's a wonderful song, and it's just, it's sad that Percy Percy passed. But, you know, I guess he lives on. To. He lives on in his music, music. and all of us know it. Yeah. And then we have, we're going to come back in a couple of seconds. we got a packed house this morning. we got our friend Chris Dunkison coming up in a minute from Comcast. He's going to tell us all about the Comcast Cares Day. We have Carol from Reading Works here. We have dispatchers and everything. Artists, this should be a great Lions show. and tigers and bears. And hippos named Karen. Karen. On the morning brew with friends. <laughs>